Make lets you design, build, and automate workflows, tasks, and more. By integrating Glide with Make, you can connect your Glide app to hundreds of other services and search, query, and edit your Glide data from any kind of workflow. Now, you can already send data from Glide to Make just using webhooks. But the main purpose of the Make integration is so that you can make things happen in Glide that aren't necessarily triggered by users in your app, whether that's adding new Salesforce contacts every morning or exporting a subset of your records to CSV at the end of every month. Your scenarios can reach inside of Glide and change things. In this video, we're gonna go over the basic concepts of Make, look at how to trigger a Make scenario with a webhook from Glide and learn how to integrate Make with Glide so your scenario can access and update your Glide data. In the most basic setup, a make scenario starts with a trigger that initiates a sequence of modules to complete a workflow. Now, make is an incredibly extensive platform with many apps, tools, and modules. So the permutations of what you can do are endless, but if we boil it down to the essentials, you're gonna be doing one of the following things. Either you'll be triggering a scenario in Glide and then something will happen in Make, or something else will trigger your scenario, which then does something or gets something in Glide, or you'll be doing some mixture of both of these. Now, we're gonna look at an example here that covers the basics of all three, and it's deliberately simple. Our app has a screen where users enter new records. We want each new item to automatically get a new sequential SKU, and we want this to be done in Make so we can control the sequencing there and also send that info elsewhere in our workflows if we need. When our users submit the form, this will trigger our Make scenario with a webhook, sending the values that they enter. Make will look in its data store and ensure that the item gets a new sequential ID, following on from whatever the last item was that was added. Make will then send that data back to Glide as a new row. On this screen, we have a button, and this button is triggering a custom form. This populates the data in a helper table, and after the user submits the form, we want to send that data to make via a webhook. The webhook needs a URL to send data to, and we can get this from our trigger in make. Over in make, we'll create a new scenario and choose webhook as our trigger and create a new one. We're now given a URL that we can paste into our webhook in Glide. Now we can add the values we're submitting in the form here. Next, we'll trigger our scenario by submitting an item, and if we navigate to the action editor and look at the run history, we can see that the action was just triggered. And if we click on the run item, we can see all the details of what happened and open the JSON that was sent. Here we can see a body JSON with the key value pairs, and we can see that make sent back info to show that it was received. Back in make, we can see that a new request has come in and we can continue building out our scenario. So that's how you trigger a scenario with a webhook. Next, let's work on integrating Glide with Make so we can actually do something with this data and then send it back to Glide. So we've now built out this scenario a bit. These next two modules are used to make the new sequential SKU. So we're now ready to send this back to Glide. In Glide, we'll head to Settings, Integrations, and Add Make. This screen gives us access to our API key, which we'll copy. In Make, we can add Glide as an action module to our scenario. The Glide module offers three actions, add, edit, delete, along with two search functions, get row and get rows. We're gonna be adding a row, so we'll choose that. At this point, we wanna set up a new connection to Glide. We'll name it the same name as our Glide team and paste in the API key Glide gave us. Next, we can choose the Glide app that we wanna work with and the table. And at this point, Glide will show the columns of that table. Because we've already sent data across with our webhook, we have access to these values as variables. And if we put these little pills in here that correspond to the data that came across in the webhook, this will send those values back to Glide. Now, the data store and set variable modules have also made our sequential SKU number, which we can then concatenate with whatever text we need in this field. The final step in our scenario updates the data store with the last SKU number so that the next time this is run, it's incremented correctly. If we run this scenario and add a new record in Glide, we'll see that the scenario receives the data, performs the action, which creates a new SKU, and then sends that row back to our Glide table. So that's a brief look at integrating Glide with Make, triggering a scenario from Glide with a webhook, and then editing Glide data from within your scenario. Make is an incredibly powerful platform and great for visually building out your workflows. There are so many different things that you can learn through their academy and also by connecting with members of our community to see how they build with Glide and Make. You can join the discussion over at glideapps.com 
slash community.